All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are down to our last 150 spots. So if you haven't got your entries for your chance to win my Lexus GS350, make sure you do it now. Okay, Hustle Nation, now all you have to do to enter to win my Lexus GS350 is purchase any one of these options here. Now, the number in the parentheses determines how many times your name will be put in a pot. So, for example, if you buy one for $25, your name will be entered in a pot three times. And if you buy one for $150, your name will be entered in the pot 100 times. But any of these options here grants you entry uh, to win my Lexus GS350. It's just the number in the parentheses is going to determine how many times your name be entered in the pot. The website will be in the link in the description, in the comment section, and of course on the screen right in front of you. And you can always go here and change the quantity here. So you can put five if you want to, which comes up to 750 bucks. Of course, the link to the website is going to be in the link in the description, in the comment section, and of course on the screen right in front of you. Don't forget, the winner of the giveaway will be flown in with a free plane ticket paid for by me so you can pick up your car and your title. We Hustle Daily. What's going on, Hustle Nation? Welcome back to another video. It's your boy, Big Play, to the Ray, coming to y'all with another video today. Um, In this video, I'm going to go over the prices. Of, like, I think it's like the last two videos. Um, should be with the Escalade. I found the cheap Escalade and the um, video where I found that Caprice, that old school Chevy 1973 Caprice. So we about to go over these prices. Um, I'm using an auto auction research tool. The link is in the description below. It's the second link in the description. Um, with this website, we can see how much cars have sold for, how much, um, um, you know, who's selling the car, you know, everything about the history of the car. You know what I mean? That you need to know. And, um, you know, you, so you can do your research before you just buy a car. You know what I'm saying? This auction com this auction website comes in handy. Link is in the description if you guys want to use the website. Um, you do have to pay the monthly subscription to use the website. But, again, it is um, a great website. So we're going to start off with the first car. Um, again, these are video. Th this was the, la the last two videos. The last two videos that I just released. Um, so we got the 2010 Ford, Ford. We got the 2010 Honda Accord, um, 2150. You guys remember this car with the uh, dent on the side? With this dent right here. Um, this car was dirty as hell, though. Y'all remember? Oh, what the hell? This car was dirty as hell. Uh, 2175. The retail value was six thousand. That's crazy. It says pending, but. Not all of, not all the time. The website takes a minute to catch up. It probably sold. Um, I looked up another car that I know sold for sure that I had actually had bought, and it still said pending. But the car is at the crib. You know what I mean? Um, so we 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 looking at uh twenty one seventy five for that. Um, we got the Mercedes Benz. Y'all remember I liked the Mercedes Benz a lot. It sold for thirty. I mean forty three fifty. So that's like fifty three hundred out the door. It's not that bad, I guess. Let's look at the video. Wow, you kind of low. Oh well, we already listened to the. I don't know if we listened to the video. I already looked at the. I already had the car cranked up. Was checking it out and everything. Fifty three. That wasn't bad. 2010 e-class um <clears throat> i decided not to even mess with this car because um i was going out of town um i'm out of town right now uh so for the 2010s e-class mercedes sold for 4300 that's like 53 out the door um what do you guys think about that uh, 147,000 miles one auction one sale it say the risk was high though um, we got the 2013. This one was kept turning over and not cranking up. Y'all remember this? Let's see how the video sounds. They got it cranked up, but it wouldn't crank up for me when I was in the, uh, when I was at the office. Oh, also, I'm gonna check on that uh that Ford. Uh, what was it? Ford Focus that I actually had drove to Chicago, man. 
that Ford Focus. Um, I still have yet to see the car. It's been a couple of months since I've um, uh, my auntie's had it here in Chicago. She hasn't had any complaints about it. For those of you who, man, y'all know, man, WHDAcademy.com, bro. Y'all already know what the deal is, man. Auntie's still driving that car. Remember, we drove it all the way from Georgia to Chicago, man. Y'all remember that, man. For, so for the 2014 Mercedes GL class, so for 99.50, holy, so that's like 11,000 damn near for that. Um, I just didn't like that it didn't crank up. Uh, let's see. Did I show y'all this one? I don't even think I showed y'all this one. Nope. So 33.25. I didn't even get to show y'all this one. This was a SL that I was going to look at. I, I, I think I couldn't find it. But my mind was already set on that 2010. I didn't even bid on the 2010 because I was like, man, I'm in Chicago, bro. I didn't want to have uh, my boy Phantom picking up the cars and stuff for me. I actually had a homeboy who was like, man, you could have left the keys for the Mercedes or the Buick and let me um, sell it for you. But I was like, uh, you know, I don't be one to borrow. I mean, not borrow, um, you know, uh, trouble anybody else with, you know, the stuff that I got on. So I just told him, never mind. What's going on, Hustle Nation? If you're interested in learning how to buy, sell, properly inspect these cars at auctions or private party sales, make sure you head over to whdacademy.com. You're going to learn how to spot a bad car in seconds, how to get your dealer license, how not to get scammed from the auctions or private parties, and how not to get a limit. I got a lot of tips, a lot of tricks, and a lot of techniques in this academy that's going to teach you everything you need to know to be successful in this auction game. I didn't help thousands of other people you can see what they're saying i have helped all these people here you see in the comment section and who has been replying about the my academy so make sure you check out the website guys i got two options on there for you guys you get the full curriculum or i can just give you the basic how to inspect car package for 49 dollars see you guys on the inside if you're interested you do not want to miss out on this opportunity um so but 33 25 for this one 40 percent of the that's fun huh. Let me see how much should I pay for that uh that white one? Like fifty something. So this is thirty-three. Mm -hmm. Mine was an 03, this is a ninety-eight, new body style, same miles. Uh ninety-four, mine had ninety. I don't even think I had hit a hundred thousand when I uh when I sold this BS. That's when I sold that um uh, SL. Uh, we got the little Toyota Yaris. Did I even look at this with you guys? Thirty-three seventy-five. I don't even remember looking at this. I don't think I found this car. Let's see. They got a dent. Look at that. They got a dent right there. I'm not sure if I looked at this, guys. I mean, looked at this one with you guys, but uh, thirty-seven seventy-five. Only in one auction says it sold. Um, okay, now we're going to Copart. So, you guys remember, let me see. Okay, so now we're going to Copart. If you guys remember, um, it was an SL that I had looked at right before I left. Um, this one 05 model, it had the battery light on, if y'all remember that. Um, 4200 for this one. Yeah, it doesn't even give you a value or anything. It was only in one sale. The seller is unknown. And, um, you know, I think this was a donation car. It was. It was a donation car. This actually had a clear title, I remember. That's what it was. It was a clear title. Clear title. SL. Y'all remember I was trying to get the top to go back, but the top was not working for some reason. Love the interior in that one. Mm. So you're looking at 52 for that? Uh, how many miles was on this thing? How many miles was on this thing? It's not even showing no more. Oh, 112. Yeah. For the top not to go back? Unless I was doing something wrong. Remember also that same day we looked at the 99, 1997 Dodge Ram 1500 sold for 1550. It was so dirty in the inside. I didn't even mess with it. So 1550 for that one. 
Oh, this is what I wanted to show you guys as well. Uh, let me see. We're going to go back to that one. So, remember the 2008 GMC we also looked at in um, Copart. So, for 2150 This one actually started up, but, you know, I can't do nothing with a car that got all of this. Look at all of this. I can't do nothing with a car that got all of this stuff on there, bro. Too much for you. Bye, bitch. Bye, 304. 304 is a hoe. Y'all know what a 304 is. It's a whore. <laughs> you lose. Fuck you. Wow. Now leave me alone. Damn. Damn. Yeah, I, at first, I thought this was going to be one of the ones the auction tr uh, a dealer tried to like run back through the auction because it was uh, messed up and they just put the vandalize on there to try to trick somebody, but... Nah, man, this was real. Twenty one fifty. They probably just gonna paint this thing over and call it a day. Now, last but not least, we got that Caprice. If y'all don't know what that Caprice looked like, let me show y'all real quick so y'all can see. Show y'all this Caprice real quick. So this is the. Hold up, where is the Caprice? There. So let me make sure y'all can see this on my screen. So this is the Caprice here. Y'all remember this? It was just uh in an auction the other day. The, this probably was the last video I posted actually. Um, so for the nineteen seventy three Caprice, twenty six thousand one hundred and seventy five dollars. Make sure y'all go back and watch that video because that Caprice was in immaculate condition. Oh, I know why the pictures aren't here. Because it's just so. Here we go. I can show y'all this though. If the video would load, what do y'all think about that price though, man? Twenty thousand. Let me see if I can refresh it. What the hell? Oh, there we go. Man, that mug was in immaculate condition. The top was good. This was a true donk right here. Just ready to shed. Probably ready to ride. I gotta listen to the video and see if it'll uh play. Not play, but uh oh, it don't got no interior pig. Let's see what the motor sound like. Damn. That thing is running. A dealer actually sold this Ways Automotive LLC. Can y'all see that? Oh y'all can even see it. I'm at the bottom right here. Hold on. Oh, y'all can look y'all self if y'all get it, but um, it actually a dealer sold this car. Um, so for twenty six, damn, I just noticed. Could y'all even see the prices? Yeah, y'all can. Twenty six thousand one hundred and seventy five dollars for the Caprice. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments below. It was only in one auction, eighty two thousand miles. The motor looked good. It sound good. Let me know what y'all think about it in the comments below, man. Um. So those were all the cars that we've, um, um, what you call it, um, you know, seen for the past couple of days. Um, I'm currently in Chicago right now. Um, hopefully I can get y'all some good footage. Um, you know, I'm just trying to enjoy the family. You know what I'm saying? Your, uh, grandparents are getting old. You know, I actually went to my uncle's funeral today, today, you know what I mean? And, you know, life is short, man, so just make sure if you love somebody, if you got a relationship you need to fix with somebody, man, make sure you fix it, man. Make sure you spend time with your loved ones, bro, because, you know, my grand my grandfather's getting old, man, and um, like I say, I just went to a funeral today, and it's, it's tough, man. It's tough, man. Life is tough. Life is hard. Life ain't fair, you know what I mean? So I just want to take this time out to tell you guys that if you got a loved one, you got a family member that you need to fix something with, go ahead and fix it, you know what I mean? And, um, you know, um, talk to your people, man. Talk to your family members, you know what I'm saying? Because you really could be here today and um, the next day you could be gone. So I'm just trying to cherish these moments that I have with my uh, grandfather. You know, he's getting old. He has a... Uh, uh dementia you know what i mean like we you know it's a wheelchair here now it, it's just crazy man it's, it's just it's just really crazy so um man take this time out 
with y'all people, man. And, um, you know, just spend time with your people, man. Shout out to the whole Hustle Nation. I appreciate y'all and I love y'all for y'all support. It's your boy Ray. Big play Ray, man. I'm out. Peace. This video has been sponsored to you by Auto A Stat. Now, Auto A Stat is a tool that I use to help me find out if cars were staged in Copart. For example, this 2021 Cadillac CT5 was sold for $24,800. But if you go down, you can actually see more information about the car. You can see that it was vandalized. That's why it's here. The car starts and everything. But if you go all the way down to the sales history, you can see that the car was also sold in 2021 and you can find out more information about it it was uh, sold by the insurance company state farm but if you click it you can also see that the car had another lot number that sold for 20,000 if you look at the photos here you can also see that this car actual damage was right here on the side there so that means that someone bought the car fixed the doors and then resold it back in Copart for $24,800 and they actually did the writing themselves so they were the ones who vandalized the car this website can also be used if you want to know how much I bought my cars for because I never really tell you guys how much I pay for cars so you can also find how much I pay for cars and if something is fishy going on with the car so if you are interested my link is in the description below make sure you sign up with my referral link and lastly this website can also be used for Copart and IAA so here's the Copart website all you would have to do is copy the lot number or the VIN number or you can go to IAA and also just copy the lot number so here's the lot number here and all you would do is set it up top and there you go so it works for IEA and Copart and lastly there is a monthly subscription I personally use the pro package which is $49.95 but you can also get the personal um, package which is $19.95 you can look up cars in the last two years and with the pro package you can look up cars in the last four years but when I tell you guys it is worth it it is really worth it it has helped me save a lot of money Okay, Hustle Nation, now all you have to do to enter to win my Lexus GS350 is purchase any one of these options here. Now, the number in the parentheses determines how many times your name will be put in a pot. So, for example, if you buy one for $25, your name will be entered in a pot three times. And if you buy one for $150, your name will be entered in the pot 100 times. But any of these options here grants you entry uh, to win my Lexus GS350. It's just the number in the parentheses is going to determine how many times your name be entered in the pot. The website will be in the link in the description, in the comment section, and of course on the screen right in front of you. And you can always go here and change the quantity here. So you can put five if you want to, which comes up to 750 bucks. Of course, the link to the website is going to be in the link in the description, in the comment section, and of course on the screen right in front of you. Don't forget, the winner of the giveaway will be flown in with a free plane ticket paid for by me so you can pick up your car and your title.